Good morning, folks. Well, today is Sunday, the so-called Super Bowl Sunday. I couldn't care less about that silly stuff. But anyways, um, <clears throat> the last video I made, I checked on uh, Uncle Dorkle's condition and the batteries and so forth. And Well, what I'm going to do now is to check on the charging. The battery was not taking a charge. A gel cell, and that's the one I ordered from Apex Battery. Um, the problem is, this is the mower battery here, and uh, I keep that on a trickle charge. Matter of fact, that's got to be taken off. This one here was from an old uh, Shoemaker battery jumper, and uh, it's, this is a gel cell, and this is really good, in, in good shape, and it holds a charge. And these things have been out in the coal shed just as well as uh, the batteries in Uncle Dorkle. Uh, we'll take this off. Now I charge these with a 2 amp 6 and 12 volt, in this case it's 12 volt, uh, a trickle battery charger. So we'll put this one on charge here. So that's how I usually charge my gel cells and they work just fine. Alright, now this battery on Uncle Dorkle has been charging since 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Here it is, Sunday morning. Ah, I checked it after one hour. Now, the little trickle charger that I got, it's very difficult because I got wires running uh, all over the place. The power cord is tucked behind, so I couldn't bring it in here. But I got this set on uh, two amps. And when I checked it after an hour of charging, nothing um, was working. Um, right now, if I operate the remote, his mouth will move. But not very much. Doesn't open very much. And so that tells me it's not charging. What energy I'm getting is from the battery charger. So... I got my little cheap Harbor Freight meter out here. I got better meters, but this reads fairly close. All right, I can't see the viewfinder. I have no idea if this is in view or not. If it isn't, I'll have to redo the video, do another take on it. Um, of course, you're reading it upside down, so we'll turn the meter around here and right now the battery charger is on the battery and I'm reading 13.43 volts okay now I'm going to take off the battery charger and these clips here go directly to Uncle Dorkle's battery in the back so now we're going to put the battery We'll see what the battery's reading. Battery's no good. Look at where the voltage is. All right. So, put this back on. And, I don't know. I hope I'm in camera view because I'll have to do this video over again. If not, she's reading 13.32. Now, the funny part about it is I can kick this up to 12 volts. I mean 10 amps rather, this has been 12 volts, this is a 12 volt battery charger. Kick it up to 10 amps and the readings will go up to 17 volts across the battery. But the mouth just barely moves. So let me just stop this video here. And Uncle Dorkle's battery will not take a charge. As I showed you on the video just now, it's a little over 9 volts. When I flip the switch down here to the 2 amp mode, this is the 12 volt battery charger, not a 6. When I kick it up to the 10 amp position, it puts out a little over 11 volts, which is not enough to charge a battery, but yet when you put the battery on, it kicks it up to 17 volts. But if I'm, I'm going to put the meter on the battery right now, and I'm going to show you that there's going to be nothing on the battery, basically. So, I don't know what the damn wire's in the way, but I, I think you can see that. It's point, 
84.64, my eyes are bad, 0 0.6, 0 0.58, not even a volt. Now remember, this battery had 17 volts on it, but very short time. I did not leave this on the high uh, 10 amp charge overnight. I left it on the 2 amp. So there was 13 volts on the battery all night long while the charger was on. So Uncle Dorkle's batteries are dead, and I'm not about to spend any more money on batteries. So what I am going to do in the warm weather, I'm going to run an external battery on them. Or maybe use a computer power supply. I've been looking on the internet and um, modify a computer power supply uh, to run 12 volts to run him. But I think a battery would be fine. This cord here, this cord here is a cord that came with my Coleman generator. And it plugs into the back. Oh, you can't see it from here. In the 12 volt receptacle. It's made for battery charging to charge Uncle Dorkle's head and uh, mouth trigger motor. The I battery, which is a 6 volt, that's dead too. Just briefly, I flipped this onto the um, 10 amp, which was putting 17 volts in the battery. The battery is hooked up. There's not drawing any current at all. You can see the meter down here. Amp meter. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection and everything else, but it's sitting on zero. So it's not hurting it. All right, I pushed it down to two amp, but it's a waste. I'm going to just unhook this, and that's it. So that's the verdict on the batteries. I did want to give you an update. It's very cold out here today. And we're supposed to get another damn snowstorm. And every time they predict 8 to 12, we'll probably get to 12. We'll probably even get more than that. Let me go check the temperature today. I cleaned up. It's a good thing I cleaned up all the snow when I did. It's the best I can do on the roof. Now let's see what the temperature is. It's gone up a couple degrees since this morning. Yeah. I think this thing's reading a little high. Well, folks, that's about it. We'll have to deal with the batteries um, in the warmer weather. Um, I don't really need to have internal batteries in Uncle Dorkle anyways, because uh, other than that Halloween uh, thing that we did, which is a flop, he doesn't need to be portable. I can plug him in when I do a skin in the house or something on, on a, or run another battery, external battery, such as the one I just showed you on my shelf over here in the shed. Um, that's it. I'm going in the house and uh, go on the computer for a bit and um, watch some good movies because it sure as hell ain't anything on TV but stupid football and I couldn't care less about that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.